Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And this episode of 3B TV is an exciting one for me. We're actually taking part in a collaboration uh, that was started by Wright Farms. We were tagged by Sakima's Ridge Homestead. And this is the five seeds I'm most excited to grow in 2019. Now I just got done placing my seed orders. We're actually ordering from I think about five different companies this year. My go-to Fedco seeds, love them. I'm um, placing a small order with Johnny's. Uh, placing a small order with Baker Creek. And then I'm also ordering from MI Gardener who was a go-to for me and a new seed company called Row 7 Seeds that I'm very excited uh, to order from and we'll talk about them in a little bit. I found out about them last year after I had placed my seed orders and so was, I've been looking forward to ordering from them um, all season last year, all winter long and last night I placed that order and can't wait for it to get here. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. While this is supposed to be the five seeds that we're most excited about, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to cheat bad. But it's all good. We're going to have some fun with it. So, here we go. Number five. I am excited this year to grow some white-skinned cucumbers. I've never grown white-skinned cucumbers before. I've grown slicing cucumbers, pickling cucumbers, lemon cucumbers. But I've never grown uh, white-skinned cucumbers. And uh, a friend of mine who had a market garden, uh, his name is Rob, he suggested that I look into these. My son actually is going to be growing some vegetables this year to sell to raise money to, uh, go, to, uh, to go on a trip with his um, scout troop. And uh, my buddy Rob, who did a market garden several years ago, said to me, he said, Brian, you need to look into... Uh, a variety called salt and pepper cucumbers. He said, I used to raise those and the little old ladies loved them. They couldn't get enough of them. And so when I was looking up the salt and pepper cucumbers, I ran across another white skin variety called Boothby's Blonde. And so I'm excited to try both of them out this year. We'll see which one I like the best. But salt and pepper cucumbers, Boothby Blondes, we're gonna call them white skin cucumbers. That's number five on my list. Number four on my list are pole beans. Now, I am excited, I think maybe more excited about growing them on a hoop panel trellis than I am even about the beans themselves. But that's not totally true. There's actually three pole bean varieties that I'm totally excited about. Some that I've wanted to try for a really, really long time. The first one being the Scarlet Runner Bean. Um, I can't wait to see what those look like. I've heard they're beautiful when those... Uh, when they're flowering, I can't wait to see that. Should attract pollinators very well, so very excited about that. I'm also very excited about trying some Christmas pole lima beans. Last year I grew a variety of lima bean that just put off a beautiful vine, didn't give me one pod. I was very disappointed, so I'm excited this year to try another variety and we will see whether or not we actually get some lima beans. And the third variety that I'm so excited to try is a pink-eyed purple hauled pea. It really looks like a bean, but they call them pink-eyed purple hauled beans. Jason over Coghill Farm talks about them all the time, how much he loves them, and so I'm excited to try them out and uh, see what they taste like. The pink-eyed purple hauled pea, which really looks like a bean. I'm going to call it a runner bean, um, but it's a pea. Who knows? But I'm excited about trying those out. Number three on my list is a couple of varieties of pepper, Volcano and Mariachi peppers. Now these are peppers that a friend of mine, a guy I used to work with grows, he introduced them to me and he would bring in his extras and when I would combine them together, it made the most amazing pepper sauce. And last year I tried to grow them on my own and did not have any success. So this year I'm gonna try again and I am so excited. I hope that this is, fingers crossed, I'm gonna be able to get the volcano and the mariachi peppers to grow because put together, I mean on their own they're great peppers, but put together they just make the most amazing pepper sauce. Can't wait, very excited about that. Number two on my list is a tomato. 
Black Beauty Tomato from Baker Creek. I'm very excited about this because it's supposed to be a really dark flesh tomato, but a, a dark flesh tomato that tastes great. And so I'm very excited about that. It's called the Black Beauty, and I cannot wait. Number one on my list. This is a tough one, very difficult to just narrow this down because, quite frankly, I am very excited to try everything from Row 7 Seeds. Every, I went through and I just was like every variety that they had, yep, one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. I think the only thing I didn't order were their potatoes and their butternut squash. And the only reason why I didn't order the butternut squash is because it was out of stock. I am so excited about Row 7 Seeds. Row 7 Seeds is actually a collaboration between a chef or some chefs and gardeners and they're really trying to breed vegetables for maximum flavor and I just can't wait to try these varieties out but out of all of the row seven seeds the one I'm the most excited about is their beet it is called the badger flame beet and I just can't wait I love beets this is a yellow beet it's supposed to have a great great flavor a nice beady flavor without the earthiness of beets so I can't wait to see what that tastes like. So excited to try out the Badger Flame Beat from Row 17. So those are my top five. Yeah, I know I, I cheated a bit. I know I cheated a whole lot, but it doesn't matter. Um, my top five seeds that I'm most excited about trying this year, white skin cucumbers, in particular salt and pepper, and Boothby's Blonde. My pole beans, the Christmas limas, the scarlet runner beans, and the pink eyed purple hulls, which is so much fun to say. Uh, the volcano and mariachi peppers is number three on my list. Number two on my list, the black beauty tomato from Baker Creek. Excited about that. And number one, the badger flame beet from Rose 7 Seeds. So, what are you excited about growing this year? I'm not going to tag another uh, channel because. I'm kind of at the tail end of the collaboration here, but if you are excited about growing something and you have a channel, put together a video and I'll link to it. Let me know. I'll link to it. Consider this me tagging you. Um, but if you don't have a channel and you're still excited about growing something this season, let me know below. What are the five things that you are most excited about growing in 2019? I'm excited to hear from you. It was very interesting to me, um, in particular, Sakima's Ridge. They're excited about growing some things that I never would have thought of trying to grow. In particular, cotton and gem, something gem corn. It's like a, it's, it's a beautiful looking ornamental corn. Now they're growing some a bunch of food to eat, but on their list, those were the two that I was the most shocked by. In particular, the cotton, because I believe they're in Ohio, and Ohio is not necessarily cotton country. So I'm wishing them luck. I can't wait to see how that uh, works out for them this year. Anyhow, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm so excited. It's going to be soon time to get some seeds in the ground. Our growing season, well, it gets started a little later than everybody else does, so I'm Watch everybody else start to plant. I'm getting excited and getting excited and getting excited and getting excited and getting excited, but I can't get anything in the ground yet, but soon. Anyhow, everybody, thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you later.